It's meant to buy peace of mind for you and your family. For many, though, funeral insurance is a costly burden that they could do without. So are there more affordable options? The longer I live, the more they're going to rip me off. Death. Usually, no one wants to talk about it. But Sandra Pollard can't get it out of her mind. A person does funeral for peace of mind, you know, and what I've had is anything but peace of mind. The 59-year-old's been paying for the end every fortnight for 10 years. And before she gets there, she wants to warn others about funeral insurance. Oh, if I live for another 10 years, they'd one lot her. It's a selfless act, paying off a funeral so your loved ones don't have to worry. Only this mum from Riverwood in Western Sydney reckons it's a rort. I decided to get real insurance, funeral insurance. Um, $15,000. Sandra says she quickly realised the numbers don't add up. My premium started at $13 and now the $39 since 2014. And she's been told by real insurance, as she ages, they'll keep going up, even if it's above the $15,000 her policy covers. They're ripping me off. They're playing on sick people and older people who just can't be bothered to read the small print, which is me. And that's where they get you is the small print. Can't you just stop it? No. I get no, I've rang them up and I get nothing. You can't just pull out? No, I can't pull out. I can't do nothing. I get nothing. If I... You lose everything? Everything that I've paid for the last 10 years, I've lost. And I can't bring myself to do that. I want to. But sadly, her story is common. It's terminal cancer. It will come back and will... I will die from it. Uh, but I'm not going to die before my mum. David Cale had to do something for himself and his ageing mother. Back in 2000, uh, being single, uh, I thought I'll take out a funeral plan when I saw the ad on TV. I didn't want the family to worry about when I die uh, where to get the money from, so it would be paid for. He took out a $15,000 policy it's a decision the 63-year-old from Diggers Reach in Melbourne now regrets. I would have paid probably $2,000 over what the policies are worth. I was lucky enough to catch it early. I was angry because being a, uh, on disability pension, you can't afford to throw money away, especially $19,000. David called out his insurer tower, which gave him $3,000 back, but he says for years he thought he was paying off a fixed prepaid funeral. I worry about whether they're going to do the right thing when I do die, that they give the money to my family to pay for the funeral. This topic has been ongoing for the last 15 years. It's been consistently an issue for consumers. Chris Grice heads National Seniors Australia. He says there are options. Prepaid or pre-need funerals as, as they're called, or funeral bonds, uh, that they are other options. Uh, we find that they're probably in the scheme of things a, a better option for consumers insofar as that they know how much they have to pay in advance. They know that's locked away. Sandra has now taken out a prepaid funeral from a funeral home. So the funeral you want yeah. is going to cost in total $2,868. Yes, completely. And my family won't have any worry. I'm hoping some law firm is watching this and maybe take a class action against insurance companies that do the funeral plan. Put your money under the mattress, get a shoebox and keep it in the wardrobe. Does the government need to step in? Most definitely, most definitely, because they're, they're, pray, they're praying on people like me. 
Real Insurance denies it's been deceptive in its dealings with Sandra, claiming to have written to her nine times to inform her of rises in her premiums. Its full statement and another from David's insurer, Tal, is on our website.